Hi my intuitive family, welcome back to Crystal Intuition. So today we have an oracle prediction for the rest of October and what the rest of October can bring for you. So this is the first of our Spooktober series. We're just gonna make some content to match the Halloween and Spooktober spirit and before anyone asks, I've had this nail polish on for a couple of days, tried to do it matte black to match the Spooktober vibes but with all the sanitizing and me working with my hands a lot, the nail polish has already started to go off, so I'll probably fix that soon, but we're still feeling that mystical, magical vibe and loving the black, so yeah, we're gonna get into the readings. We have Pile 1, Pile 2, Pile 3, and Pile 4. We have Moonstone for Pile 1, Strawberry Quartz for Pile 2, Black Obsidian for Pile 3, and Malachite for Pile 4. So you guys can take a breath and feel what pile resonates the most with you. Okay. So once you picked your pile, you can take a minute to pause if you need it. And then we're gonna get into the readings. Okay, so for those of you who selected Pile 1, we have the Moonstone there, and your cards are Affirmation for Acceptance, Fire Magic, Tears of Joy and Sadness, you have Meditation for Clarity, and Give In to Passion. I'm just gonna Space your cars up a bit. Okay. So guys, first off what I'm seeing is I'm seeing a lot of passion here. So this today's reading we probably have to do with something that you have picked up recently, a hobby or some kind of some kind of uh thing that you picked up. It could be work related, it can be like a hobby or something, maybe something musical or something related to like games or books or something. But it's something very creative, something very close to you. It's going to be different for everyone. But I'm seeing that it's something that you've been thinking about for a long time and you're not sure if you should do it or just let it go, maybe you're thinking, is this, is this for me, is this really for me? But yeah, there's the affirmation for clarity. So maybe you can meditate a little bit to get some clarity, but since we have fire magic here, I'm sensing that this is probably a yes. For most of you, if you have a question and you need an answer, I'm probably seeing yes, because fire is a very passionate number. Uh, like card and the number of the card as well like I'm thinking since it was second that it came out I'm thinking yeah I'm thinking this is a definitely a yes for you guys I also see this card is very interesting for me the one in the middle here tears of joy and sadness so you probably have been thinking a lot about this. You've probably been having tears of either joy or sadness or both, but you have some mixed emotions or maybe maybe the music, I'm gonna use music as an example for this one, but it can be any hobby or something that you picked up. It can be work related, but I'm sensing that you've kind of been hiding like behind this fake mask, pretending like you're okay, putting on a smile, yeah, everything's fine, but I don't really think that, I think deep inside maybe you've got some bad critique or something, and something, someone said something and it kind of hit a little hard for you. So I'm gonna just shuffle, just to get a clarifier. Oh. I'm not the most graceful, graceful shuffler, shuffler, guys. Got a little tongue tied as well there. Yeah, I'm thinking someone also tries or trying to tell you like what to do and what to be. That's also something that I'm feeling for you guys. Whoa, okay. 
So, progress and wishes. Okay. So yeah, you guys, you guys have the sun card there. The sun is always a beautiful thing to see in a reading because it's a positive change. So there is going to be some positivity coming your way. So yeah, there's going to be progress. Your wishes are going to be fulfilled. So whatever it is, there you have a yes, go ahead. You know, if it's if it's something good, if it's a passion, a project that you want to be working on, then go for it. Go ahead. You have a yes from your spirit guides, but also if it's something bad, then probably don't do it, But because this is a reading for multiple people, so if there's something toxic that causes you tears of sadness, then I'm sensing that you shouldn't do that, obviously, but yeah, if it's something like to do with, I'm sensing reading or music or maybe games, and yeah, it's something that I see you should try to remain a little bit in this playful vibe. And the dog's also barking now. And there's a picture of dogs on, on the cards. This is the only one that has a dog, yeah. There's only one card on here that has a dog in it as well. So, yeah, I'm sensing you should be alert, but alert and cautious, because I'm sensing this could also represent someone that is being fake so be cautious but also try to remain in that youthful kind of energy that youthful playful energy and um yeah have some fun along the way i'm sensing you guys are probably very serious and very like you guys you, you take things too serious and you know you, you kind of you try to concentrate on the serious things, but you're, you're forgetting the fun. You're forgetting that fun that comes along with it. So just don't forget to enjoy the journey while you're on it. So that's all for you, pal one. So we're gonna move on to pal two. Okay, pile two, for those of you who selected the strawberry quartz, this is your prediction. You have learn from life, prosperity and abundance. You have meditation for peace and serenity. You have go with the flow. And you have imagination and invention. Oh wait, imagination and envision. <clears throat> Sorry guys. So, imagination and envision, let's see. See that you're a very creative person, probably. Yes, you're, you're a creative person, you've been working hard, but you've been hesitating something. You guys need a little bit of clarification on something that you've been doing. You've been doing work and it's not been paying off, I see. So, prosperity and abundance. Your hard work will be rewarded. You always reap what you sow in life. If you put in hard work with a positive attitude, you will get a positive outcome sooner or later. Um, meditation for peace and serenity. So, I'm sensing things are probably a bit chaotic around you. And I'm not sensing that it's people around you, but your thoughts. Your thoughts are very chaotic and they're kind of bombarding you in your everyday life. And you don't know how to turn it off. Just meditate. Take some time. Take a breather. Meditate. Go sit down in nature. I'm sensing probably near bodies of water would be beneficial or in a garden. Just meditate and just go with the flow. Just let your thoughts flow naturally and the answers that you are seeking will come to you. But yeah, you have definitely have some abundance coming your way in this month or at the latest you'll see the rewards paying off end of this year or beginning of the next year because I'm also sensing a lot of renewal energy here so maybe either at the end of the year 
<clears throat> sorry guys, or the beginning of next year. <clears throat> I apologize guys, so yeah, voice going away, so yeah, you guys, I'm sensing you have a lot of thoughts, but you don't, you can't find a way to communicate that. You're stuck in some kind of shell, I would say. And you're hesitant of things, but I'm sensing you should just trust the the process and just you're gonna learn from whatever is happening to you. So, um, yeah, re you always have to remember in life things are happening for you, not to you. So just trust the process, meditate for your answers, and everything will be fine. I'm gonna pull you guys a little clarifier card here if any last messages need to come through okay you guys had two cards popping out here so you have meditation to dig deep and plant the seeds yeah so Exactly what I was saying about the rewards paying off, guys. So, plant your seeds now for your future. Whatever you do now will pay off, and it'll pay off soon. Like I said, it's renewal energy, either beginning or at the end of a year. But whatever you do now, business-related, if you're indulging in a hobby, that will show when the time for harvest comes. Maybe in the fall, because... Either fall or spring, I'm sensing, depending on your time zones. So next fall or spring, for some of you, the rewards will be paying off. And also I'm sensing that you guys should not overindulge in things like food or alcohol. I mean, have fun, enjoy things now and then, but don't overindulge. So you also have meditation to dig deep. So... I'm sensing that with the meditation and the going with the flow and the imagination and, and, and vision there, I'm sensing that you have to take a little time for yourself. Take a little time out and go and dig deep in your own soul. Like, dig inward. Go inward and dig for your answers inside you because all of the things you're asking, the answers are inside you. So, just take a little time, meditate, or spend some time in nature. Maybe do some gardening. If you're into gardening, I'm sensing gardening. Your garden would be a really great place for you to let off some steam and just planting in your garden, working in your garden, watering your plants. That'll be very beneficial also for your soul. So that's all for you guys, group two. So, we're moving on to group three. Okay, so group three, for those of you who chose the Black Obsidian, this is your reading. Okay, so you have meditation for creativity. We have a lot of creative groups here. And we have connect with Gaia. We have affirmation for healing of the heart. You have accept love. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's interesting. And then change and progress. Okay, guys, you definitely, definitely have a love element here. So either you're in a relationship or you've just gotten out of one. But and there's also some self-love issues here, guys. You're the pile with the love issues here. Also, um, the creativity we'll get to in a moment. But... I'm gonna address this first. And the other piles, I'm, I pulled their cards a little later at the end of the reading. I'm gonna pull your extra card now. Whoa. That happened really fast. You have speak your mind. Okay. So guys, so someone in this relationship had communication issues if it revolves around a relationship. If it revolves only around you, if you're not in a relationship or you haven't just gotten out of one, then 
you rarely speak your mind. You have a lot of things you want to say to people, but you don't say it. I'm sensing you should open up a little bit and speak what's on your mind. Because I'm sensing a lot of things have been bothering you, and, you know, you're not even being honest with yourself, I'm seeing. So, yeah, affirmation for the healing of the heart. Some of you lost a loved one to some illness or maybe just old age but some of you lost someone you really loved and they passed away and some of you had a very bad breakup or something or there's this on off relationship different messages for different people it's a little all over the place but this is I'm sensing a lot of you are gonna pick pile three but yeah, you are you got out of a bad relationship recently or you are in an on-off relationship or you lost somebody you loved that passed away and this happened recently. So what I'm sensing there guys is <laughs> change is coming, there's going to be progress. You want to you wanna stay in touch with, if, if you lost a loved one, then you have to connect with the earth. Connect with, if you believe in God, pray a little bit, go outside, spend time in nature. Connect with the earth. Connect with the spirituality of the earth, if that makes sense. I'm sensing for some of it, it's going to make sense. For some, it's you're just going to be what I'm talking. What are you talking about? But spend some time in nature. Remember, we are all spiritual beings. On the physical plane so when we die we move out of the the physical plane into the spiritual plane so when you lose someone they're not gone they're still around you and I'm sensing that they are so you can connect with them again you know you can talk to them when you when you feel sad you know so they're not gone and that's just a really important message for those of you who lost someone you have to carry on that love that they left behind For those of you who just got out of a breakup, I'm sensing that was not a good one because there was massive communication issues or someone lied to someone. There was some betrayal, some uh, form of cheating or something like that. It's different messages for different people, but there was some kind of bad falling out with you guys. And now you're left with that broken heart, you don't know how to go on. But new love will come again, and it'll come again soon, so, I mean, there's change and progress, change of a person, someone, that guy wasn't meant for you, or that girl wasn't meant for you, that person was not for you, you'll meet someone new that is actually meant for you, your soulmate connection will be coming in shortly, I'm sensing, I'm sensing it's gonna be in a cold season, so either autumn or winter, because there's a lot of rain, and like the winter, I'm just feeling a colder energy when you meet. It's gonna be either raining, it can be in the summer months, but then it's raining. It's gonna be like that cold, cozy kind of winter, wintry autumn vibes that I'm getting. So that's where you'll be, you'll be meeting your new person. And also, if there was communication issues, you're gonna make sure that you need to communicate if you get a new person. There's gonna need to be communication. Communication is very important in a relationship. For those of you who have an on-off relationship with someone, I'm seeing change in progress. So m if you move on, you're going to make progress. You're probably also going to meet someone new that's going to be coming in soon for you. And I'm sensing that you're going to be sharing a lot of um, things that you're going to have in common with the new person coming in. Maybe something creative, music, art. Uh, even movies, anything like creative that's like um, depicted with like pictures and stuff. I'm seeing very like it could be moving pictures like movies or just artwork um, and even music but I'm sensing more like music videos than actual music or concerts. That's a couple of things for a couple different people there for that hint on your person that's coming in. So then I'm gonna get back to these connect with the 
Gaia and change in progress. So there's a lot of change happening for you in the month of October. I'm sensing you need to connect with nature a little bit more. Everyone who's watching this right now, you need to accept love. Accept yourself before you can be accepted by others. So for those of you who have self-love issues, everyone who's watching this who has self-love issues, which is most of us, this is going to resonate for I think everyone who's watching this right now, you need to accept yourself. You are beautiful, you are unique, you are you. Nobody can be you like you. You're not beautiful like that girl next door or that other guy you saw in the gym. You're not beautiful or handsome like them. You're beautiful and handsome like you. And that's what makes you unique. I'm sensing a lot of uniqueness. You're not like everyone else. You're different. And you need to accept yourself. You need to love yourself. And that takes time. Maybe just go every morning and say something positive to yourself. But small steps make a big difference, guys. And communication. Talk to yourself. Speak kind words to yourself. And that's going to also make a lot of progress for you in relationships. So, yeah, embrace your uniqueness, guys. A lot of changes are coming for you in October. So that's your reading. Group 3. So we're moving on to group 4. Okay, group 4, for those of you who chose the Malachite group. I'm already sensing healing energy for you, but let's see. Sun and stars. Strength and resilience. Gratitude and thanks. Healing waters. Transformation and change. And give love. So you guys have an extra card that came out, and I didn't want to put it back because I felt that it was a message that needed to come out. And I'm going to pull you guys another one. Because I'm just feeling like each pile can use a little bit of extra messages today. Because this is not a very big reading. So, let's see what comes. Oh. Okay. I'm sensing you guys are stubborn. You're probably a fire sign. It can even be like an air sign, I'm sensing air or fire sign. I mean, it can be any sign, but you're stubborn. You're stubborn and you like to do things at your own pace. And that's a good thing. You need healing. I'm sensing that stubbornness, okay? Because you need to give love, okay? One random act of kindness a day can make the biggest difference and the biggest changes. It doesn't even have to be for a stranger, it can be for yourself. Do one act of kindness for yourself. Wake up, think about a couple of things you can be grateful for that day. You're grateful that you woke up this morning, grateful that you have a warm bed, grateful that you are privileged enough to have internet access to be able to watch this video right now. It can be the simplest things. Be grateful. Gra gra gratitude and, and thanks in advance is that, it's that first building blocks that you get when you start a spiritual journey because you guys are on a spiritual journey you guys are that inward group so you can probably also be a water sign because there's water magic and healing, healing waters water is of big significance for you guys I don't know why either you need to drink more water or you need to cleanse yourself do a water cleansing ritual perhaps or spend time with animals that live in water like get a fish tank or go to an aquarium if you can just go to a pet shop and look at the fish i don't really know just something along that lines but there is some healing energy here so i'm sensing you guys are on a healing journey because there's transformation and change as well so I'm sensing that kind of new me kind of vibes. It's like you're transforming yourself. And that doesn't have to be physical. That can be that can be like spiritually, mentally, emotionally. Maybe you're getting ready for spooky season. You know, I'm sensing some kind of change. There's a butterfly there, transformation. 
big transformations and changes this month. I'm sensing you are going to grow a lot and you're going to heal a lot as a person. But I'm sensing you need to show more gratitude. You're not showing enough gratitude. So you also have strength and resilience. So I'm sensing you have, you're more resilient than you think. You're stronger than you think. So you're, you've been through hard times. You're that group that went through a tough time. You closed off your heart, heart chakra. I'm sensing you need to open that heart chakra. You need to give love. The more you give, the more you receive. Remember that. Because you, you have survived everything life th has thrown at you. And you'll survive everything, everything that's coming. So open your heart chakra and accept. You have to give love to receive love. And accept that you are strong and resilient. Because you are. And you'll shine. The sun, the moon and the stars. Everything you ever wanted is going to happen for you in your lifetime. Everything you're dreaming about, everything you want to accomplish. If you work hard and you stay resilient, you stay persistent, then that's going to happen for you. I'm also sensing a lot of emotions that's buried deep beneath. Opening the heart chakra will probably release that, but you need a little bit of time to work through your emotions as well. And you'll shine, you'll shine like the brightest star in the sky. You're resilient, you're you're gonna you need persistence. Give gratitude and thanks. When you open that heart chakra, you're gonna shine so bright. You have a very bright aura. And yes, the sun card, there's some sunlight I'm seeing here. So through these stormy dark times, there's gonna be light. I mean I'm seeing here a desert, and then this guy found found this water. He's probably been searching for that forever. I'm sensing that if things look tough, you just have to look beyond what you see. That's making me think of Lion King, but whatever. You need to look beyond what you see sometimes. Go inward. Look at your emotions. Evaluate your emotions. But you will find what you're looking for. You'll accomplish great things in your lifetime. Gratitude opening the heart chakra. Your Malachite's also green, heart chakra color. Healing energy. You guys need to heal. Go through your emotions. So that's all for you, group four. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys in the next one. Bye!